Hi, it's Lou Theodore and it's an early video for me today and it's day 70 of 100 videos in 100 days. And I wanted to talk today um, a little bit about depression, um, partly because it's been on my mind because of a recent conversation with my partner. But um, I've had a long, long, long storyline with depression and what I mean by depression, I guess, is not a, it's not a low mood that lasts for two or three days. It's something that becomes um, much more entrenched and long-lasting and actually does feel like that black hole. And I've, I've had periods throughout my whole life, actually, where I felt really seriously depressed. Um, and I've taken antidepressants and beta blockers and sleeping tablets and I've had counselling and therapy around it and you know I I've got mixed feelings about those things I'd never ever say to anybody not to take medication um, and sometimes I think actually they were useful other times less so but I um and depression's a funny thing, isn't it? Because sometimes it's circumstantial and you can sort of understand it a bit more, why it's arrived. So um, I had quite awful postnatal depression after I had my daughter. When my dad died quite suddenly, um, you know, there was quite a prolonged black period then. And it's sort of somehow it's sort of easier to accept then isn't it when it arrives it sort of seems as if there was a reason uh, but there have been other periods where actually my circumstances you know they were actually fine they were just kind of average or whatever and these great big black periods of depression would arrive and I've really really struggled my whole life to kind of um, find a way out of them and it's only really in the last, probably actually just the last year that I found something that works for me. And it may not work for everybody. I'm no, uh, no doctor, no psychiatrist, but I just want to share it just in case there is somebody watching it who does feel depressed. And it's the only thing that has worked consistently for me. And it's a really, simple thing so when I start to feel I can always I can always sort of sense when depression is arriving is um, there are very physical sensations and when I start to feel those now and they do still crop up I I do something very simple I make a point of doing things for other people and that may be I um, draw and paint a postcard and send it it may be I make a phone call it may be that I do something a much bigger gesture but I very consciously add that into my day I do something for somebody else I've become very aware that as soon as I start to feel depressed um my natural instinct and absolutely what I've done consistently in the past is I start to isolate myself. So I withdraw and I'm not as active. I don't text as much. I don't call people. I don't go out. I become very, very insular and isolated. And I do wonder now in this sort of, this doing these simple gestures for other people there seems to be something, um, something amazing that happens that changes, sort of resets my mindset. And I don't, in all honesty, know exactly what that is, but I think part of it is um, looking outside of your own thoughts, you know, not being so overwhelmed with that whirlpool of thinking that goes round and round and round, whether it's about not feeling worthwhile or a situation being hopeless or it's too late, whatever your particular flavour may be. And, you know, God knows I've tried most flavours. Um, I think it's partly that. It's partly the just seeing outside of what's in your own head. 
I think it's partly actually as well when you do something nice for somebody else, but you do it, I always do it with absolutely no expectation of anything in return. I'm just doing it to do it. And let's be honest, knowing what I know now, I'm doing it partly to help me anyway. Um, but in doing that, I seem to kind of gather some sense of um, self-worth in that it's very easy to feel worthless when you're depressed, that you don't have anything to offer. And even tiny little gestures like sending a hand-painted postcard and the joy that gives somebody and the way it brightens their day and the way it may change the course of their day, how they approach their day. It allows you to see that you do have, um, you have power, you have resources at your disposal and you can choose at any time to use those. And there's a sense of, you know, self-respect and well-being that comes with that. And also another component, I think, is I think depression is about isolation. And, you know, it's a bit chicken and egg, isn't it? Are you isolated and therefore become depressed or do you become depressed and isolate yourself? And I can actually argue for both sides because, you know, at certain times I've done, I've done both. But there's something about when you're depressed, you are isolated. And just by the very reaching out and doing something for somebody else, it connects you. And that connection seems to somehow dissipate the depression. As I said, I'm not, I don't really know how it works, but all I can say is this is what I deploy now when I feel that sort of deep sense of gloom descending. And it works and it's worked every single time I've tried it. And I can't say that for any other thing that I've tried. And that's why I wanted to share it today, just because, in, you know, just in case somebody's feeling down, in case somebody feels that they're kind of just, I don't know, on the edge of dipping, it might be worth a try. Um, it works for me. And I just, yeah, I wanted to be open. It's, you know, it's something that's been a huge storyline for me. It's, some it's something that still arrives for me. And this is, this is what I use and this is what I do. So it's Saturday morning. It is a weekend, people. Hope you're all having a good time, a good weekend, and I'll speak to you tomorrow.